this was the American generation. I mean, our parents were already educated the American way, and we were going to school, the whole American system, and the whole bag of things, Santa Claus, and everything else, you know? Uh, this was the typical pre-war uh, generation. Not, not too much talk, uh, nationalistic talk. Everything before the war seemed to be a uh, very innocent time. Yes, English was our first language till we were about eight or so. I, for instance, now, I, you couldn't put me before an audience even. I couldn't appear on TV and talk in Tagalog. I can't, and it's, it's, it's a disgrace not to be able to talk your native language well enough. And, and that handicap I have probably handed to my children. And so they cannot, uh, they're very political, for instance, and they may deliver speeches, but they deliver them in English because we did not have the background, which is a disgrace. And that's why uh, many of us, my children especially, are actually taking the learning of the language seriously so that they can express the, the, the finer points, the finer ideas in the language. I mean, we can order we can order a meal and ask for a glass of water. But they say that the language that you, you speak when you make love or you're angry is your mother tongue. And when I'm angry, I can't cuss in, the, in Filipino. When I make love, I, I don't make love in Filipino. That's the, that is where the whole sad situation is, which they're trying to remedy that future generations can cuss in the native language. In those days, we knew more about uh, American history, give me liberty and give me death and all that. We used to me memorize all those speeches more than we knew Philippine history. That was the emphasis in those days. These are the colonial times. Even the, 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 the uh, primers, it's all about snow and apples and pine trees that you never, we never saw in our whole lives. But still, A is for apple, not A is for avocado or something more familiar. And that's the American uh, system. Uh, A is for apple, and that's how we how we learned. And we learned all the, we knew the Star Spangled Banner better than, than whatever uh, up to now. It's a handicap. I don't really know the words of our national anthem. It's the truth, but but it's it's disgraceful. Whenever we went to visit our grandparents, all the his tenants, he was a coconut. He had a coconut plantation. All the tenants would come out, and then they would say, "Oh, there are the grandchildren of Don Gregorio who don't speak the the language, who don't speak the uh, the Tagalog at that time. It was not yet Filipino." Uh, they don't. They don't know how to speak the native language, and we did not disgracefully enough. We did not.